and welcome to Down to Earth. I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week comes from Chris. She has a bed of heartleaf skullcap that did well for her all spring, but disappeared this summer even though she watered it. Will it return for her? Well, that's such a great question, Chris. Heartleaf skullcap is one of the relatively few plants that go dormant in the summer instead of the winter, thus defying our ingrained view of how plants behave in response to seasonal changes. We're quite accustomed to plants going dormant in the winter, but usually around here, if something dies back in the summer, it usually is dead. Since plants can't just get up and walk away when the weather gets bad, they have to adopt other strategies to deal with the changing seasons. Plants that are native to our temperate climatic zone usually respond to cooler temperatures and shorter days by going to sleep to avoid potentially harmful clashes with the cold of winter. But certain plants may also respond to the stress of extreme heat and drought and the long days of intense sunlight in the same manner by hunkering down for a little nap until the situation improves. Heartleaf skullcap does just fine here in our central Texas winters, but doesn't care so much for our hot, dry summers. Even in normal summers, with a few days rather than a few months of temperatures over 100 degrees, heartleaf skullcap more often than not avoids heat stress by dying back to the ground in summer and re-sprouting from underground stems in the fall. So Chris, I bet you're already seeing new growth at this very moment. And your heartleaf skullcap should bring you much joy in the garden this fall and winter. Our plant this week is bamboo muley, Mulembergia dumosa. Well, this is one of my absolute favorite ornamental grasses. It has a wonderfully soft texture and feathery leaves that sway peacefully in the gentlest of breezes. The stems do resemble actual bamboo, and there's quite an Asian quality to this plant as well. Bamboo muley gets three to five feet tall and three to four feet wide, so make sure to give it plenty of space to spread out. It looks great planted in a massed row for architectural interest or used as a living screen in the landscape. And in the right container, bamboo muley can be a fabulous showstopper in an entryway or on a patio. With our intense sun and heat, bamboo muley will do much better if planted in spots with bright filtered light to light shade. It's listed as hardy to zone seven and we're zone eight. So if you do lose a few bamboo muleys in your Austin landscapes this extra cold winter, you might need to replace them. Be prepared to protect these plants during extremely harsh cold if possible. Be sure to water bamboo muley regularly until it's well established, then cut back on the irrigation. As with all plants that have underground stems or crowns, bamboo muley may rot if kept too wet. This plant has beautiful straw colored seed heads in the fall and winter and is usually evergreen, but the foliage will turn brown and die back if we get some frosty winter weather. If that happens, prune out the brown foliage just before new growth starts to emerge in the spring. Bamboo muley is not invasive, but the cumps do get larger, so if it gets too large for your space, you may dig it up and divide it into several pieces, returning a smaller plant to the original space. To do in your garden this week, think about planting a new tree, especially if you've lost one this summer. Fall's the best time in our area to plant trees. We'd love to hear from you. Please visit klru.org ctg to send us your questions or plants of the week from your garden. Mm -hmm.